So today I'm going to be doing some testing on several different salt shooting devices. I'm good, for all of the uh, devices, I'm going to load them all with this Callus Classic Sea Salt. And I chose that because it's got sort of a uh, coarse grain to it, more so than uh, table salt. And I just kind of like that. I think it might have a slightly longer range. So I've got a, uh, a salt swat device here. And this is designed to go on a 4022 Crossman CO2 22 caliber pistol. Uh, I've got one of those on the way in, but I don't have it in my possession at the moment. So I'm going to test it on this Benjamin pump rifle. It's a 392A 22 caliber, which actually this is uh, more powerful. It's rated at 685 feet per second. So it should uh, hopefully approximate what the CO2 will do. And I'll redo the test again when the CO2 pistol arrives. And I also have a bug assault here. And this one I've used for many years and uh, I've uh, converted it over. It's got a flashlight. Actually, a lot of them, uh, a lot of my guns, a lot of, I've got several of these bug assaults. And I, I shoot uh, slugs at night a lot with these. So I have a push button activator. And also screwed the safety off so I don't have to actuate the safety every time. And then I've got a Crossman 760. Uh, 17 caliber rifle and I've got these two attachments that will go on it these are these are designed I uh, designed them in, in CAD and 3d printed them and then I also have a, a Crossman uh, 1600 it's an older one I think it's from the uh, 80s or 90s and it uh, 17 caliber so I've got a box here that's cut out and I'm just going to put aluminum foil over it and tape it on the sides. You can see I've been doing a little testing. But I'm going to tape the aluminum foil to the sides so it's tight. And give the aluminum uh, the best chance of uh, being perforated. And I've also uh, I've set up this uh, tripod here. And this is going to be my... Uh, 24 inch I'm going I'm going to be shooting 24 inches away and so I can put the barrel right here and uh, That way I can get a consistent comparison I want to be centered up with that and 24 inches Right there's good So I'm going to start with uh, taping up the foil And I want to kind of pull it, put some tension on it there. And so I'm going to start with this uh, bug assault here. And this one is not the outdoor version. But I'll tell you the truth, I haven't really noticed a lot of difference between those. And this one does have the light there, so I might as well use that. So here we go, here's the bug assault from 24 inches. And so you can see the pattern. It's not too bad there. I'll zoom in, see, so take a close look. So I've got another one here. This is the, another bug assault, but it's the outdoor version. Supposedly it's a little stronger. So we'll see what it does. It also has a light. Now that definitely uh, was a difference. I can see there's some holes in it in there. And uh, there's actually two differences going on. The first bug assault here, uh, that was the table salt. 
And this second shot here with the outdoor version, that's the new uh, Kala Salt. So this is a Bug Assault Outdoor. And this one was with Table Salt. And this one was with the Callus. So I've got some, uh, I've got a light behind it there also that is a good indicator. I'll zoom in so you can see. You can see the pattern. And so next I'm going to be uh, getting out the uh, salt swat. Okay, next I have the uh, salt swat here. I'm going to try that at the same range. Wow, I shot a little low, <laughs> but uh, I'll try that again. But that's a, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit more salt and a, a larger pattern, and it seems stronger. So I'll try that again. Uh, I was a little low on that, but I'll zoom in so you can see. I'm just shooting from the hip, basically. I'll try to aim higher. But that definitely uh, looks like about twice, maybe even three or four times the, the pattern. Okay, here we are. I'm going to try the salt swat a second time. The first time I hit a little low, I didn't hit right in the center of the square. So I'm going to try to aim more carefully this time. So here's the salt swat. Wow, that's crazy. That's a that's a huge pattern. It still also uh, I still was hitting uh, right there's where I was aiming, but most of it went a little low. But it's a, quite a few holes. I think that thing would be lethal. So far, uh, the salt swat is by far. Uh, seems like the most powerful so far. I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see that. Okay, next I'm going to try some of my, my own contraptions. So next I have uh, this 3D printed adapter I'm going to be testing. It's a, this is 10 millimeter deep, about 8.5 millimeter diameter. It's a magazine feed and I'm using the same salt. And that did not work. So I'm going to try the 20 millimeter attachment and uh, probably it's not going to work either because the 10 millimeter didn't work. But I'll give it a shot and see. Nope, same thing. Yeah, it's not enough power to um, to blow through this uh, tissue paper, even though I have on this one I have O-rings on it, so I'm down to just the two commercially available things that are working so far. Okay, so uh, as a result of the testing, I found that uh, all three of the uh, prototype salt shooting devices I made, magazine feed, did not shoot at all. So it wasn't a total waste, I, at least I, fit, I found out what doesn't work. So uh, I'll rule that out and I'll continue to work on it and see what I can come up with. But what I did find out was uh, the salt swat here. 
is basically like a magnum salt shooter uh, compared to what I've been using the bug of salt so um, I'm going to now do some testing on the different salts I've got a lot of different salts and I really like this one so far but I haven't done a, you know a side-by-side -side analysis of the of the, all the salts that I have but I'm really leaning toward this one but I'll find out for sure and I'm also really looking forward to when my Crossman 4022 arrives so I can shoot this uh, as it was intended and you know it, it would actually be you know more like along the lines of this where you just pump it once and fire where with this, this one with the CO2 you just slide the bolt and go so that'd be really nice looking forward to when that happens should be uh, in a day or two and then I, that's when I'm going to test with all the different salts I have so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned uh, I have some other ideas about how to make a salt shooter repeater and I'm going to be designing and 3d printing those and sharing that with you as well and hopefully one of those will work but until then uh, I'll be using the salt spot thanks for watching